In this video, we'll be seeing how to create a simple calculator in Android. So you can see we are having two options to enter the number. So we can enter the first number, something like three and the second one like six. And we can click on the addition option. You can see the answer is nine. Let's click on the subtraction option and you can see the answer is minus three. Because we are reducing the six from the three. So we are having the answer that is minus three. Let's click on multiplication and we are having the answer and division is also working. Okay. So we'll be seeing how to implement this simple calculator application in Android. So let's get to the implementation part. First of all, we can go to the resources, layout, activity main XML part, go to the split mode and we can change the parent layout to linear layout. Set the orientation to vertical. Now we can give a padding of 20 dp. Then we can give a text view. So we are having a text view here. So we can remove this four lines from here. And then we can give a text size for the text view. We can change the text here. So we can make it like simple calculator. We can make it bold. So text style bold. Now we can give a layout gravity center. Okay. Now we can give a margin top, maybe like 50 dB. Okay. So the text view is done. Now after that we can place two edit text. So we'll be entering the two numbers on that edit text. So we can add a edit text. We can give an ID for the edit text. So let's give an ID. So maybe the ID is something like number one. Okay, we can also give a hint for the edit text. Now we can give a margin top so that there will be space between the text view and the edit text. Okay, now we can copy this edit text from here and paste it below this edit text and change the ID to number two. Okay, we can remove the margin top or we can simply reduce that to 10 dp. Okay, now we need buttons for addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So for that we can come below this edit text and create a linear layout. Inside the linear layout, we can place four buttons. First of all, we can give an orientation for the linear layout. Orientation horizontal. Okay. And inside that, we can place the button. Give an ID for the button. Now, we can give the font size and also text for the button. So, text equal to give a plus symbol. We can set the font size that is text size 30 SP. Okay. Now maybe we can give a margin to the end. So margin end something like 5 dB. Okay. Now we can copy this button from here and paste it below. So we need four buttons. Okay. So one is for addition, one is for subtraction. So change the ID to BTN sub. And we can change the text to minus symbol. Okay. Okay, you can see the text sizes in DP. So you have to change it to SP. Okay, so here, okay, we can change the ID here. Okay, so I change the ID for the other one okay okay change the text here okay so the next one is multiplication change the symbol also so for multiplication we can add a x symbol and next one is division change the id then change the text that is the symbol so for division we can do it like this 
So you can actually search for the symbol of the division in Google and you can paste that symbol here. So I have replaced the symbol by Googling the symbol for multiplication and division. So you can see that. Now this looks much better. Okay, now you can see on the palette, our UI is almost complete. So we can give a space between this edit text and the buttons. So come here inside the linear layout for this horizontal one. Okay, come here and give a margin top. And we can give something like 30 dp. Okay, so now that's enough, I guess. Now the layout part is completed. So you can go to the Java part, go to the main activity Java. And here we have to create objects for the edit text and the buttons that is the button add sub multiplication and division and then a text view so before that we have to create a text view for the answer so we forgot that so come to the bottom after this linear layout this horizontal linear layout after that hit enter here and create a text view warp content warp content give an id for the text view maybe something like answer so we'll be displaying the answer in this text view. So we can set layout gravity to center and give a margin top. We can also give text size and maybe make it bold also. Text style bold. Okay, so the answer will be displayed here. Okay, so now the layout part is actually completed so go to the main activity java part and here we can create objects for the button so button and button add comma button sub comma button multiplication for that we can give mul comma and button div now we need objects for the edit text so edit text and edit text edit text for the number one so n1 edit text n2 now we need the object for uh, text view so text view text view and then we need two integer numbers so we'll be fetching the numbers inside around the edit text and we'll be converting into integer so for that we have to go to the activity main once more and give the input type for the edit text so input type and set it to numbers do that for the second one also okay so now when we click on this edit text we will be only able to enter numbers okay create an integer okay now we have to initialize the objects so come inside the own create function and button add equal to find view by id r dot id dot and give the id of the button add that is btn add so if you are having any doubt with the id you can click here so in order to click here you have to click on the control and click using the mouse and you'll be taken to the id inside the layout part so you can see the id here for this button so make sure the id is correct so now i'll be adding the find view by id for all this this much so i'll be doing that fast So now you can see we have initialized the objects so you can see we are having four buttons and we are having two edit text and one text view here you can see a small error here on the text view part we can simply ignore that when we run the application it will go away okay so after this we have to set on click listener for all these four buttons since we are having four buttons we can implement the on click listener here so come here and implement on click listener okay now you can see we have implemented the on click listener inside the view class 
and now you can see an error here so click here and type all tender and you can see an option implement methods click that option and you can see we have to implement this function that is on click select this option and click ok now you can see we are having override on click that's it so come back to the on create method and then we have to add these buttons to the on click listener so button add dot set on click listener this since we are having the on click listener implemented for this activity we can call it like this otherwise we have to call it like new on click listener like this okay so we are already having it implemented here so we can call it like this okay so do it for other buttons also okay now we have added on click listener for all the four buttons now when we click on the button this function will be called so inside this function we have to get the values from the edit text so for that we can do that first so if inside this if condition we can check if the values inside the edit text is empty or not so edit text number one okay dot get text dot to string and then we can check dot equals nothing so this will check if the text inside the edit text is equal to empty and if it is equal to empty we can show some toast message and on the else part we can pass the string from the edit text and store it on the integer value we can copy this much from here and paste it here and here we have to come here and call integer dot parse int so inside that we have to pass this okay okay hope you understand this so we are parsing the integer value from this string value okay hope you understand that okay now we have to do the same for the edit text too so in order to avoid the repetition of the code we can cut it from here and maybe create a function so we have created a function that is get integer from edit text and we are receiving edit text as a parameter okay and we are returning an integer value now here we can paste the code that we cut from there and we can remove this and change it to edit text that is this one okay and we can change this equal to and we can make it a return okay and you have to change the edit text also change this object also here okay and we have to return some value here also okay so here we can return something like return zero so if the value is empty we'll be returning zero okay add an else here okay so hope you understand this function if the edit text is equal to empty we will be showing a toast message and also we will be returning an integer value that is zero and if the value is there that is the string value is not empty then we will be converting the string value into integer and we will be returning it from this function okay so now we have to call this function from this on click function so come here and we can call it like num1 equal to get int from edit text and pass the edit text that is edit text n1 okay and for the number two equal to get call the same function and pass the next one that is edit text n2 okay now we'll be getting the integer values from both the edit text okay now we can do the operations that is the addition, subtraction, multiplication, etc. For that, we can create a switch statement. Switch view dot get ID. And 
the case first case will be r dot id dot give the id of the button that is btn add now this will check if the on click listener is for the button add we can do something here so what we should do is we have to add the two numbers and set it to the text view so text view dot set text and inside that we can pass something like answer equal to and then pass the actual answer so the answer will be like num1 plus num2 okay that's all now the addition is done we can call break okay now we have to do the same for case sub and case multiplication and case division so copy this much from here and paste it here three times okay hope you can see the code properly now change the id btn sub and change the symbol here to subtraction symbol you can see this okay and change the id here btn multiplication okay and the symbol to star okay and the last one to division btn dip and the symbol to slash symbol okay now you can see we are having the case one that is the case add and case sub uh, subtraction and case multiplication and case division and we are doing the respective operations here and we are setting that value to the text view hope you understand that now on the division part we have to do the division using a float values so we have to convert this to float values otherwise we will not get any decimal values so we have to add float before the number here okay so hope you understand that so we are actually converting the numbers to floating numbers and then we are doing the operation that is the division so we'll be getting the uh, float value okay and we are setting it to the text view here okay hope you understand that now we can run the application and check if it is working so you can see the app has launched now we can enter a number or before entering a number we can click the add button you can see the answer is zero and we are also having a toast message enter number so you can remove this answer equal to zero option also from there and maybe show a message like enter the number first or something like that so we'll not be changing it for now so let's keep it like that okay now we can enter some number here enter the second number and we can click the add option and you can see the answer is six now we can click the subtraction option and you can see the answer is zero okay we can make the second number something like nine and click the subtraction option and you can see the answer is minus six let's click the multiplication and you can see the answer 27 and let's click the division option you can see the value that is 0 0.33 etc so this is because we have converted the value to floating values here so hope you can see that let me show that so we are converting it to float that's why we are getting this decimal values otherwise we will not be getting this decimal values okay so that's all hope you understand how to create a simple calculator application if you have any doubt you can leave a comment below and i'll respond to them if you want the complete source code of any of the videos that we are doing you can come to this url i'll give the link on the description and you can download the source code from this url so you can get any of the source code of our videos from this url so that's all for this video hope this video helped you if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos